Okay, so I was browsing Craigslist and I found this in the free section. I'm recording this now. There's not a large chance that I'll get it because it'll probably go really quickly. But uh, there it is. Hopefully I get it. I can't believe it, but the guy actually said he still has the Jaguar available for free and I can pick it up tonight. So I'm at my local general store, just buying some ratchet straps so I can load it to my trailer, tow it home. You gotta act fast though. If you wanna get these deals, you gotta act fast. This is just a super split second thing, so I gotta prepare now. I bought some ratchet straps because I broke all mine when I was stuck in the ditch and I had to tow myself out and I broke them all. Uh, we're just gonna be using this trailer, which has a capacity of like, um, I don't know, 2,900 pounds or something, and the car, according to the internet, has a gross capacity of like 3,500 pounds, so it's a little over, but I've got brand spanking new tires, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, we're just going to be taking the sides off to make it a flatbed, and then take the front off so that it's longer, and the car will probably just hang over the edges like that, if you know what I mean. Anyway. Let me take the sides off the trailer. And here's an interesting strategy. I'm changing this into a raise hitch instead of a drop hitch. So usually it's like, so usually it's like this and I want this to be underneath it. So it's a raise hitch. So I want it to be like that. So I'm just gonna flip this to the top. All right, and there you go. A redneck lift hitch. So the trailer's lo loaded up. It lies a lot flatter now with the raise hitch. We're ready to hit the road. It's about an hour drive. Not bad at all for these Craigslist deals. We'll get ourselves a free car. Okay guys, we're on the road now. As you can see, it's raining a little bit, so that's too bad. Uh, these are the type of deals that you just have to jump on. And this one's a Jaguar Special Edition. Just leather interior, everything's super duper nice. So hopefully it's not a, hopefully we don't get there and it's a scam. But uh, I'm just happy that I jumped on the deal. I got it 20 minutes after, or 28 minutes after he had posted it on Craigslist. So anyway, I'm just going to go down there, pick it up, and see how it is. Like a bird on a tree. Okay, we just arrived in Northfield, which is where the car is, about an hour from where I live in Sharon. And Northfield's actually where my dad grew up, so... Here we are. Have you ever seen anything more sketch? We got the freaking car. It's beautiful. Only has 70,000 miles. I don't know how it was free. That's how close it's riding there. And that's the S10 right there. So, yeah, it's it's sketchy. But you got to do what you got to do for the free car. Right, so we are going up a very, very steep hill right now. The speed limit is 50. I think the maximum I can do is 22. <laughs> This is gonna be a long trip home. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here. Who needs a three quarter ton truck and a dual axle trailer, eh? Look at that. Do you guys see the smoke that's coming from the middle of the SN? Beetle approves of the new purchase. I approve of the new purchase. What more do you need? I don't know. Something is smoking on the S10 from between the cab and the bed. I think it's maybe the muffler or something. I don't know. It's fine. Whatever. We got it home on the interstate. Average probably about 50 miles an hour. It was no big deal. It needs a jump start. It doesn't hold a charge at all. Uh, it's probably got a drain somewhere knowing Jaguars. But uh, yeah. She's looking classy. That's for sure. Look at that class, guys. Oh, yeah. Battle of cheap cars. The $400 car is jump starting the free car. Let's see if it goes.
see it out, see how it is, because I haven't gotten to look at it since that first day. Um, although I have, uh, I actually did replace the battery because I knew that was junk. Got a cheap Walmart battery. Hopefully it doesn't have a drain somewhere, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to start this up, drive it over. Let's go ahead and see if it starts up. What's up? Okay, so the first thing I want to mention is Jaguars have a reputation of being gangster cars and this one is especially gangster because here's the key this is the only key to the car there is no key in the ignition however no key in the ignition Yep, so this could be pretty easily stolen. But to explain what I did, the previous owner just rigged up this to start it. So, ignition, starter. That's all it is. All right, so let me walk you around my Jaguar. It is a 1988 Jaguar XJ6 with a straight six engine. I think it's 3.6 liters. I can't remember, whatever. And a little bit rusty. But only on this side. Actually, this side is the only rusty side. If we take a peek at the other side. There you go. Oh, that's classy right there. Right, and under the rearwards opening hood, propped up by a piece of firewood, because the actuators don't work anymore, you can see the 3.6 liters of fury. I think it's 3.6 liters. I honestly haven't done much research on this car. But there it is. Let me show you my Vanden Plas interior. This does not work. You gotta open it through the window. Actually, none of the doors work, which is kind of weird. I don't know if this is a classic Jaguar problem. It must be, because none of the doors work. Uh, there you go, riding in style. You got leather seats, a leather uh, wrapped steering wheel, uh, wood accents, real wood. This is real man's wood. This isn't fake uh, plastic wood wood dashboard rear seats a bit crammed back there with um, parts and stuff but let me show you the back seat I assume most of the people who owned this car were mainly chauffeured around in the back seat seeing as how the original MSRP in 1988 was $47,500 which translates to $102,000 in today's money Anyway, back here we've got the trim pieces because if you can see, we have a lot of trim pieces undone there. You got a table, if I can figure out how to... Uh, oh, that's how you do it, okay. You got the nice table. This is really nice back here. Leather seats, center console to smoke and do whatever people did in the 80s in Jaguars. Do cocaine, I don't know. Another ashtray over here. Faux wood accents, plenty of legroom. This car is for some serious business people. At least it was, now it's for guys like me. So I'm sure you're wondering how I got this for free. Um, at least I bet you're wondering that. And it's basically because, as with any typical Jag, this is absolutely littered with electrical issues. You can see he's taken all the electrical stuff off so we can try to troubleshoot this. I'll start it up and show you the um, codes I'm getting. And that buzzing stops. All right, fasten seatbelt, that's not an engine code. Circuit two failure, circuit one failure. Power fluid low, that's no big deal. Brake pad low, okay, that's kind of a big deal because it's a crappy Jag. Anyway, yeah, it's just circuit one failure and circuit two failure. And also something is clicking over here and I don't know what it is. You hear that? 
Let's stop clicking. One of the relays, maybe? Oh, it was the window switch. Huh. Okay. Anyway, that was... That's one thing. Another thing that's messed up is the headliner, as you can see. Uh, engine sounds pretty good. I'll let you listen. I don't know if that oil pressure gauge is correct. I doubt I'm getting 80 pounds of pressure. Looks like the alternator works, according to that. As you can see, it only has 70,001 miles, which is pretty crazy. Um, aftermarket radio. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. This wood is kind of falling off or peeling off a bit. So that's kind of annoying. But all in all, it should make a nice, a good car. The engine has a small tick, as you can hear. But on the ones I heard on YouTube, all the, those engines had that same exact tick, so... I don't know. Um, an interesting thing is that there's just one wiper and it sits in the middle like that. I find that weird. I don't know. I guess let's take it for a drive. Some more codes. Circuit 1 failure. Fueling failure. Power fluid low. Brake pad low. Circuit 2 failure. Circuit 1 failure. Fueling failure! So I wonder what that is. Seems like I still got fuel. Although it is pulsating a bit now, actually. Huh. Let's take Jag for a spin. All right, so apparently the seatbelt does not work. That's interesting. We have second gear. Oh, we have second gear. Wow. I definitely need new ball joints, a new sway bar, or something because on both wheels there's like a chugga 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 chugga. You know that suspension noise, just the classic suspension noise I have. I definitely need a new something suspension component. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna slow way down until we get to a smooth part. I think it sounds like a ball joint. Wow. I'm just gonna go nice and slow until we get to a smooth bit. I'm gonna do a quick acceleration test here. Here we go. Well guys, it seems to run like a dream and shift like a dream. There's definitely something up with this guy. Maybe control arm, maybe ball joint. I don't know, we'll take the wheel off and have a peek in the repairs video. I uh, need to get some electrical issues fixed like that circuit stuff. Although it runs and drives fine, I don't know what the circuit stuff even goes to. Anyway, it has good oil pressure too, as you can see. All the gauges were in the green. Good oil pressure, temperature stage, solid. So I think in the repairs video, I, what I need to do is whichever brake pad is low. I couldn't really tell by hearing it. I think it was the front right. 
So I need to do the front right brake pad. I need to do the uh, suspension component, whatever it is there. Got to get the rust taken care of. I'll check all the fuses to see if I can fix the circuit failures and stuff. Um, then hopefully just put the interior together, make it look nice. And then the finishing touches, finish the paintwork, get some chrome stuff, get the Jaguar for the front there for the emblem, because that just will complete the look. But uh, there we go, guys. I got a $48,000 car for free. Oh, and before you go, I suppose I'll give you some exhaust note, because a lot of people say these cars sound really nice. They might be referring to the V12 uh, version, but I'll just start it up anyway.